Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Me and Epiphany, where we talk about science, philosophy, religion, and everything in between. Today's topic is going to be about HEK 293. Let's get into this one. HEK, otherwise known as human embryonic kidney cells, is an immortalized cell line derived from an aborted female fetus. An immortalized cell line is a population of cells from a multicellular organism which would not normally increase indefinitely but due to mutation have evaded normal cellular senesis and instead can keep undergoing division. The cells can therefore be grown for prolonged periods of time in in vitro. HEK293 have been widely used in cell biology research for many years. They are also used by the biotechnology industry to produce therapeutic proteins and viruses for gene therapy. Several vaccines and biotherapeutic proteins have already been developed using HEK293 cells. Alexander Elb originally cultured the HEK cell line in 1973. The number 293 comes from the amount of times it took to get the experiment right. To harvest a viable embryonic kidney for this purpose, sufficiently healthy children old enough to have adequately developed kidneys must be removed from the womb, alive, typically by cesarean section and had their kidneys cut out. This must take place without anesthesia, which would lessen the viability of the organ. A comprehensive study of the genomes and transcriptomes of HEK293 and five derivative cell lines compared the HEK293 transcriptome with that of the human kidney, adrenaline, pituitary, and central nervous tissue. The HEK293 pattern most closely resembled that of adrenal cells which have many neuronal properties. Some advantages of the HEK cells are the consistency of the results and the cells are highly reproductible. And however, they are prone to bacterial contamination, susceptible to viral contamination and with extended periods of culturing will result in the degradation of the cell's health. Besides the use of HEK cells in vaccines, they are also known ingredient in food additives. A biotechnology company named Synonix, Synomix claims to have reverse engineered human taste and aroma receptors. Synomix was founded by prominent biochemist Lupert Stryer in 1999. Around 2001, Synomix patented several flavor enhancers using proprietary taste receptor based assay systems, which have been previously expressed in human cell culture in HEK293 cells. These cells were used to enhance the flavor. Sonomex products fall under the category of artificial flavors. Now, here's a comprehensive list of the number of brands, the products that use this type of quote unquote artificial flavoring as well as some of the biotechnology companies such as Pfizer um, who have also used this with their vaccines. So thanks guys for watching.